What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a meta tier list for Leo Messi. Now this has been something I've been asked quite a bit, especially on stream lately. I'm going to do a couple of these tier lists and see where they kind of rank, right? Now also, we have left out a couple of versions of Messi. This isn't every single version of Messi, but we are going to kick off. And with the tier list themselves, meta gold is going to be the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. There's only going to be one Messi in this ultimate meta goat tier and heading that is going to be my main pick it's going to be it's going to be hard to pick between them but we'll try our best then s tier is going to be still end game unbelievable player in the game but just not as good and then a and b and down and down right so we're actually going to go on and we're going to start and we're going to get through the first kind of b and a tier quite quickly right and we'll kind of judge it from there this player here now lads listen i know what you'll say right it's a free card there's been a couple of free messy cards but this is his base stats here and it just does not do it for me I genuinely tried him on my free-to-play account, and he's done really nothing for me. Yes, he's still messy. Yes, his player ID is still there. His individuality is still there. Yes, he'll still bang you in goals. But I just feel like this card man is just not it, really. I mean, it's a 37 years of age messy. He's got no speed, really. And his physical contact is quite poor. So it kind of, he just gets thrown around the place, right? But I do feel as if he's going to be joined here as well by this free version of Messi. Now, this free version of Messi, when he first came out, was absolutely unbelievable. Kind of reminds me of Son Crassen, Neymar Santos, even the new Safi Sally. Unbelievable card, man, that had really, really good stats and just played way above his stats. But yeah, it's just not really where it is. And also, I'm going to put this Argentina one and I'm going to put the Player of the Week one. Now, the Player of the Week one is kind of an interesting one, but I think for the rest of the players on this list, I can't really put him any higher than that. Being 100% honest, I just can't put him any higher right there, right? Also, this Messi that they released at the time as well, I know a few people have asked me about him. You know, uh, somebody only asked me for a recent build of him uh, recently. But yeah, I don't really recommend using him either, right? The rest of the players that you're seeing here is going to be a mixture of one-off Messi, such as the Bukis Messi, and such as the MSN Messi that you see here, and also double boosters or players that are very, very unique, such as this Messi that you see here. So he's going to have a, a lot of work in trying to kind of like compete with these guys, right? I'm also probably going to throw this guy in here as well, because he's just got two little levels, lads, if you look here at his card. He's an SS, yes, he's a creative playmaker, yes, he's got good skills, but 25 levels, the pace is another issue with him, his balance is huge, yes, you can train him in a couple of different ways, but you're not going to be able to hit that 90 speed, uh, or that 80 speed even with him, and any player that can't go to 80 speed as an attacker, I just think you're wasting your time with the way the game plays at the moment, it's too mosh pit, it's too crazy, it's too chaotic, and I think that's going to end our B's here in this, right? So that's going to be our B tier there um, that you see. And I think that's fairly fair, right? So kicking us off with A, I'm actually going to throw in this old school Messi card here. Now, when I say old school, it's not that old school, right? If we actually navigate here to all my Messies, this card is not that bad, right? Especially if you're looking to train him up in a bit of a different way, because he does have 31 levels. You can get his speed, his acceleration into the 80 zone. Obviously, every player that you see here is going to be getting the manager boost and the player playstyle proficiency boost as well. So his stats are quite nice. He's got good speed. He's got good technique. He's got his booster as well. He's got double touch, dip and shot, long range shooting. I did like this card when I had him first. And this was the ambassador pack that was in that they brought out a long time ago as well. But I do feel as if that card is probably, he's probably overshadowed by a lot of the cards in there, right? Even this card here now, right? This is a creative playmaker, Messi as well. And he's a very similar card. So I'm going to probably pop the two of them in there as well. Honestly, there was no real need in having these two cards in, but I wanted to be as thorough as possible in this tier list because if somebody wants to ask me, you know, why or you know where they rank, this is kind of gonna be until the next gameplay update comes. This is gonna be how I feel about these messies, right? Now we have two of these in here as well. That's just basically a typo. Um, so yeah, ignore that one. So we're gonna throw that one in there as well. That's just a duplicate, it must have uploaded twice, right? So now we're kind of on to the big boys, right? And if you look here at the rest of the players that I have. Every single one of these players that you've left are going to go to over 100, right? And we've got Young Messi, we've got Bukis Messi, we've got one of the best Messis they've ever released, but we've also got the World Cup Edition Messis as well. Now, this World Cup Edition Messi is a center forward, so he gets bonus points for that. You have the MSN Messi, and you also have this Messi here, which they released not so long ago, right? Is a deep line forward as well, the Undisputed, right? Now, I feel like with this Messi... He, he was kind of underrated at the, at the start when he first came out because there were so many good cards dropping. He's 34 years of age. It was a free card, if I'm not mistaken. Or not a free card, but he was in that pack. 
with the Argentina pack that you could get. It's a very decent card, right? But I think the only card that I'm going to probably like throw in next into this tier list here is going to be the old school Ambassador Messi. Now, if you've played the game a while, you will know who this Messi is and you'll know what kind of card that Messi was when he came out. He was an absolute demon. Him and Neymar, they were the first ambassador picks that came out. But look, seven levels, I can't put him into an S tier, lads. I just can't. I genuinely can't put him into an S tier. And I do think that he has a couple of limitations as well. It's a good card, but he doesn't have a booster. It's obviously 31 years of age Messi as well. But I can't put him in, man. Even though that card design was cool, it's a signed autograph version of uh, Messi, which we got again later on as well. So that is kind of like where I'd go with that um, right there into that tier list. It's a nice card, but not really kind of up there now. So the rest of them, it's going to be fairly self-explanatory, right? I'm not going to spend too much time. I think we're going to put this guy, this CF here, Probably my favorite one, right? You can see 162 goals in 261 appearances. An absolute amazing card. I'm actually going to put this straight into S, right? We might put one more into A to make it even more of a kind of like, you know, gap between the A's and the B's um, and the S's and the meta goat. But I do feel as well that I'm going to probably put this guy in here as well as another center forward, right? So I don't think that you can put these comparable. I think this has just been an insane Messi. This is probably one of the best Messi's they ever released. Look at that. Huge physical contact, huge balance, huge tight possession and dribbling, finishing speed, acceleration and kicking power. All going to be around 90 with the manager boost and the booster boost as well that you're going to be giving him here. It's an insane card. One of my favorites still to use, even though I don't use him as much as the new Messi that we have, right? Also on top of that then as well, I'm probably going to throw in Boot Kiss Messi, right? And I'm going to put Boot Kiss Messi into S. Now, I feel as if this is going to be slightly controversial, but this Boot Kiss Messi has never really done it for me compared to this one and compared to this Messi, right? Now, I feel like that's probably just because obviously this came out in a trio pack and you can not play the three of them together. And I get that, but I do feel as well, man, that... It's tough, it's tough, because like, if you are looking to play with a different type of Messi, I do think he's better centrally, I don't think he has the player ID or the player individuality to be out and out wide, especially where the gameplay is at, right, and I would be even tempted to put him up into the meta goat tier, but I will leave him here for now, right, also I'm going to throw this one in as well, this was part of the pack, I'm actually going to put this in to A tier, I still think it's good, but I want there to be a big discrepancy here between the meta gold and the S. And I make it as difficult as I possibly can for myself, right? So I'm also going to throw in this guy into the S tier. And I'm going to throw in this into meta gold. Now, I've actually kind of slept on this Messi, this version of Messi for a while, right? And I do have him. And I did get him with this trio pack. A lot of top rank use this Messi, man. Um, they, they genuinely love this Messi. And for most people that I talked about or talked to high rank players... He just seems to be the perfect blend of skills, stats. He's got an excellent booster. I've obviously thrown flip-flap and soul control on him. So it's kind of a personal choice as well. You literally could put any of these boys up here into the meta go tier. But I do feel that he deserves it, right? Now, I am kind of cheating a bit. I said I would pick my undisputed one. But I have to put the new Blitz Curler Messi in there, boys. Honestly, man, I just have to. I mean, genuinely, boys, like... <sighs> I can't, I can't argue against him, man. He's been unbelievable for me. He's a prolific winger, but I'm playing him up central. I'm kind of partnering Rummy or else Sammy Leto. Or else I can play him attack midfield and use a sub tactic or whatever, right? But he's just insane. We've also given him a couple of different bits and pieces. This is the build that we've gone for. Look at this. Agility plus one. Left winger he can play. We've given him dip and shot and fighting spirit. But lads, look at the goals to games ratio. 55 matches played. 18 assists and 61 goals. Absolutely insane. I would say of those 61 goals, we're probably looking at maybe 15 to 16 blitz curlers and probably looking at maybe 15 or 16 individual goals where I've literally just got the ball at Messi, touch and go, pop goal, or else, you know, dribble, run, double touch, ball roll, whatever you want to do. You can train him up whatever way you want. He doesn't have ball roll, obviously, but his double touch is insane. The other Messi that I had did have ball roll, uh, ball roll right, or advanced double touch absolutely insane i genuinely did not think that anyone would turn me away from this version of messi and before the msn pack came out i obviously would have probably had them two up there and i probably would have argued for him there but i would if i was being very greedy have these three as the ultimate goats but i am going to put these two as the ultimate lads i definitely think 
that I just feel like even though this this Messi here is probably the most unique card they've ever released, I do feel like that this, where the gameplay is at at the moment, is just insane, man. He can play anywhere as a creative, and he's just incredible. But it's the Blitz Curler Messi that gets it for me. That is my meta tier Messi in there, in the tier list. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Honestly, you could probably move these around and have him as a meta goat as well. It's very, like, it's literally a personal choice. I would have said maybe a month ago, yes. But now that I've been using this Messi, he has to get top billing, lads. So let me know what you guys think. Do you agree, disagree? Am I off my wazoo? I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.